Hi, Stacy Kenny, and today's tutorial is going to show you how you can add a guest author to your blog and then how you're going to link your picture to that post throughout the social networks. And it may be something you haven't even thought about, but you will run across it. Now, if you're adding articles to your blog by other authors or using WP Robot, Unique Article Wizard, or anything like that, then you're going to need to set up a new user. So you're looking at the screen right now as if you were looking in your WordPress back office. And you're going to see a tab that says Users. When you click on it, you can see it says Add New. So what you're going to want to do is go over here under Username and just put Guest Author. I've actually put in one of my business email addresses because I already have my email address attached to my name. First name, guest, uh, last name, author. So you'll want to go ahead and do this, set up a password and, and such, and then this will set up that guest author so that when you do put in those articles, you can make sure you're not putting your name but you're doing the guest author and usually there's a resource box at the bottom of that author giving them credit so you should be fine so the next thing we want to do is take you over and show you how to link that we're actually going to go to a site called Gravatar and I'm going to show you what we're going to do right now okay so here we go uh, you can just go to gravatar.com this is what it looks like now you're going to uh, sign in or sign up. I am actually going to log in because I already have an account as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. You might want to set up an account. Now as you can see it says manage my gravitars. So what happens is anytime you're out there and you put in your email ad address or right now the way it's connected from your blog and a lot of the automatic stuff uh, when it it shoots out to your social networks like Facebook and such there's a picture attached to your email so right now with DCC at mindspring.com this picture is attached so if I want to go ahead and change this image then I can can do so right here and modify it add a new image now what I'd actually like to do at this time is add another account remember we just set up the guest author account so I'm going to add an email address and go ahead and put that in here qproductsmindspring.com and then I'm going to add this now let me go over to Facebook and show you what I mean okay if you look at my Facebook account this is why I noticed it and why I wanted to share this with you guys today see on my last um, post here this was actually from a guest author and because I didn't have that email set up over at the Gravatar see the little um, the logo here then that's why you're seeing that so now I just need to go back over and put my picture in with that so next time when I have a guest author post then the picture that I put there will come up now it doesn't have to be a picture of you if you want to have a logo or something like that then you can. Uh, I think from a branding perspective you should try to stay consistent and use the same picture. So um, that's it for today. Hope you found it um, helpful. Thanks so much.